Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. It's been, <laughs> feels like a long time since I've vlogged. Um, I have been sick for almost the entire month of October at this point. It has been one thing after another and I have been sick and it just, I don't know, I don't, I don't, there's no sense in wasting either one of our time going into more detail than that. I'm finally starting to feel better. I'm finally starting to feel a little bit like myself again, which is great because it's been kind of miserable, honestly, being sick for this long. Um, but we're just going to carry on with our lives. And um, today I'm going to, because I feel like nothing has happened in October, none of my things that I wanted to do, none of the, you know, things I wanted to achieve or anything like that have gotten done. I um, <laughs> am determined to uh, to get some stuff done. Also because we have friends coming to visit this weekend. Two of our family friends are coming with their families. They're, they rented a house, so they're staying together because um, we don't have enough space to actually have people stay here. Um, so they're staying down the road from us a bit, but they're all coming to hang out with us. And so um, I just got a bunch of stuff I need to get done. Um, but yeah, so I do have a few things I want to do and change up decor wise. And then um, I really need to work on switching the kids wardrobes i still haven't done that yet putting away their fall clothes and bringing out or and put away their summer clothes and bring out their fall clothes um just a lot of stuff like that so this is like you know i'm not really running at 100 percent capacity right now so we're just gonna see what we can get done today that's the theme of today's vlog is rest when needed what can i accomplish today before i pass out and want to get back in bed that's the plan do you think the dogs are hungry? <laughs> we're missing somebody. We're missing, well, we're missing a few. Where's Oliver? You seen Oliver? Um. Okay, so I thought I would show you guys. So CR came out here and, um, uh-oh, are you stuck, Ferny Fern? Do you need some help? CR came out here and um, added some new panels to the ducks and we blended. Has anybody seen that movie? Blended. Kennedy and Shelby love that movie. Um, but anyways, uh, we blended the new ducks, which I would reference as the baby ducks. However, they are bigger than our old ducks now. They are bigger than them now. It's got to be the breed of duck, but these four are ginormous. Um, so we have now blended them all together and other than guess who has been, you'll never guess, guess who's been the culprit of meanness? Poppy. Little sweet Poppy who slept in my scarf. She is vicious and mean <laughs> to the new ducks. It's kind of hilarious because she just looks angry with her little poof and chasing them all around. Um, but they've been getting along well and doing fine. Um, they are bigger, so the boys have a harder time bullying them, is what we'll call it for YouTube purposes. Um, but anyways, it's it's been good. It's been good. Um, I'm really glad that they turned out to be much bigger. Are you stuck, Fernie Fern? Do you need some help, Fernie Fern? Are you stuck, baby? Oh, I don't think Dad... Oh, can you do it? Can you do it? Or are you stuck? We still, this is obviously still not their permanent location, um, but it, they've got a lot more space in here. And this pool has a little thing that we can drain. This is fresh water from yesterday. It's just, this is how dirty it gets, which is why we want to build a pond with a filter and all of that to keep the water cleaner. But there's a little knob over here. You can unscrew and drain it and refill it easier. Hey, Daph. Hey, Daph. How you doing, girl? Fernie, do you need help? Do you need help, Fernie? I see you giving me the eye. Do you want me to come in there and help you or can you get out? I think you might be actually stuck here, unfortunately. So let me go in and help Fernie. Hey. Did you see me almost fall in? That would have been awful. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. 
Good morning. We've got a broody chicken. Peanut is on the nest and will not get off. Um, and I was right, one of the silkies is a rooster. Yep, did you guys hear that? Good morning, it's okay. There's our rooster right there. What you doing, girlfriend? She can finally see. Her feathers grew in a way that she can see it much better than she could before. Hello? Hello? Hello, sir? Uh, stories yet to be told if any of the others are roosters, but I think, I think he's the only one. Thank goodness. Only one rooster. We can only have one rooster. I'm very excited because today's vlog is sponsored by Brooklinen. Not only am I kind of just ready for a refresh on our bed, it's fall, moving into winter. I'm ready to refresh the sheets and bedding, um, but I've just heard so many good things about this brand and people that I know personally as well have told me you will love these sheets. So once I got like the personal recommendation, I was I was down to give them a try. So and basically Brooklinen does one of the things that I love most when companies do, which is to give you a luxury item at an affordable price. Um, and of course I do have a discount code for you guys. I'll put it here on the screen. It's just Angela B and that will get you $20 off an order of $100 or more. I'm just saying. Christmas gift ideas, yes. And then also, like if you're going to have family and friends come visit um, for Thanksgiving or Christmas or for the holidays and you have a guest room, how nice is it to have really beautiful, luxury, amazing linens on the beds for your guests? But I digress. And now listen, it was a few years ago that I finally realized like I'm a mid 30s, all right, fine late 30s now, I just turned 37, so that's late 30s. Your old woman and I would like to have really nice bedding. I like it when we travel, when we stay in hotels and different places, and you just get into those beds and they are so cozy and comfy and you just think like, well, this is just impossible to have at home. I can't have this at home. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. I have made it a point to add linens, bed linens, and bedding items to my small list of things that I am willing to spend more money on for a much higher quality item. Uh, things like skincare and bedding. These are very much worth it. Now the various bundles do cost between $200 and $250 depending on the size of your bed, but I think it's important to remember that good, high quality, luxury bedding for you know a bed, like we have a king size bed, that's gonna be well over $400, well over $400. Just one comforter alone that I looked at last year was $325, just for the comforter. And like I like to remind y'all, you do not just have to take my word for it. Uh, look up reviews. Brooklinen's reviews, they have over 35,000 five-star reviews. All right, here's the current um, situation of the bed. <laughs> uh, I'm very excited to change it up a little bit. Let me open this and let's see what we got in here. Also, their website is super easy to navigate, so if you guys head over there, I'll have it linked in the description box, um, but you can totally mix and match. Uh, there's over 25 colors and patterns to choose from, so they will have something that fits your style for sure. And there are two options if you want to do the sheet set. You can do the classic one or you can do the luxe core sheet set. So instead of buying individually priced items, this is the um, Hardcore Luxe Sheet Bundle. So you're gonna save 25% and it comes with the Luxe Pillowcases. These are um, two soft, smooth, ultra luxe pillowcases. And then um, this is a flat sheet, a fitted sheet, and two more pillowcases in this package. And these are the Lux Sateen sheets. So they are a 480 thread count. And they have like a soft, they refer to it as a soft luminous feel. I would imagine that's in reference to the sateen. Oh yes. It's almost, it's not, I don't wanna say like silk, that's not it, but it's just a it's sateen. It's that very soft feel. And I like sateen sheets for winter time 
Um, I mean, really, it's great any time of year, but I personally like them during the winter time because it's more tightly woven and has like a heavier weight to it, um, which makes them really soft, very like buttery soft and warm um, for winter. Ta-da! Okay, this is the beautiful duvet. And it is like, hopefully the color's coming across. It's actually like a gray and white. And then the sheets are like this cream color and they are so soft. It just feels like a really, really soft um, sheet. It's not, it's not too slippery. So I love that. Okay, I'm gonna finish adding back some pillows and blankets and get the bed kind of styled up. And then I'll show you that. But I wanted to show you what it looks like with just the duvet. Ta-da, there we go. I just added a quilt back. This is just to add an extra layer to the bed. This quilt was on my bed before. You just couldn't see it. It was covered by the pink blanket. And then I just kept these pillows. I didn't put the pink ones back. So yeah, there you go. I love it. Looks good. Now, the real test comes when I sleep in it tonight. All right, well, this is what happens when mom is sick and does not stay on top of laundry and such, so. I need to go through these drawers and pull out the twins and Rosie's. Um, I've got another set of drawers behind me, but I need to go through here and pull out the stuff that doesn't fit them anymore, stuff that's not seasonal appropriate, but that may fit them for next year, separate everything, and then hopefully get their fall wardrobes put away. Got another thing of drawers <clears throat> over here that is in shambles. So, time to take care of that. making some various piles progress here. Empty drawers, which is always a good sign. And some closet organization. All right. It's making my allergies go bananas up there digging through those clothes. I am going to make myself some lunch, which is what everyone needs to eat when they're sick. Ramen. This is not like top ramen, it's Asha. I don't know how you say it, but Shelby. This is her favorite kind. I don't normally eat this, but it sounds good when I'm sick. Um, okay, well, this is why I should not be allowed to do these kinds of projects because once I get started, I can't stop and I bite off more than I can chew and now I want to like rearrange things in the bedrooms. I don't really have time to do that right now. Um, I'm probably gonna do it anyways, at least a little bit. It's kind of like a snowball. You start one thing, and then in order to really finish that thing, it requires you to do something else, and then that kind of requires you to do something else. That's the point I'm at right now, where this was supposed to take an hour, and it's gonna take a lot longer than that. <laughs> what you making? Just fried rice, you know? The weather calls for it. The weather calls for yeah, it? Yeah, perfect weather. Perfect fried rice. Right? Your fried rice tastes delicious. You know the only problem with the fried rice? Takes me forever. <laughs> I oh. would never work at Benihana. I couldn't. Yeah. I mean, this is a multi-hour endeavor that you're embarking on right now. Hey, give me here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Tastes good. <laughs> takes a long time. I don't know how that song goes. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. Hop on the golf cart, guys. Gotta go to the garage and get a storage box for some clothes. I've mentioned this before, but I've got all these clothes that I really need to sell on Poshmark and stuff. Is everybody seated? Yeah. Um, well, sorry. Okay. Everyone holding on? <laughs> Look out, Azzy! Um, and I just have not had time to create the page and do the pictures and get them listed and stuff like that. 
So anyways, I'm trying to move it up my priority list, but I need to go get a storage box out of the garage to transfer the clothes to and then bring them back out to the garage. I just want them to be safe from bugs and critters. So anyways, that's what we're doing. I've got a few. Wee! Kids Hi. with me here. <laughs> Hello. I will. Okay, I'm gonna hit a tree. I need both hands. Yeah, All right, we've got a bunch of these storage bins uh, that don't have anything in them yet. This one does not. This one. Does not. So I'm gonna take these two and see if that's enough. Um, we shall see. Excuse me, sir. Are you trying to drive my golf cart? Uh, you hold that? Mm -hmm. Come on, bud. Whoa, what a bad job. Yeah, can you hold those so they don't fall off? Okay. You and Olaf? Guess I needed more than two bins. <laughs> Anyways, but not all of this is stuff I'm selling on Poshmark, but um, some of it is just stuff that's out of season that I just need to store, but I've got to make my labels and all of that. Um, but yeah, for now I just need it out of the house and out of my way. Look at these two. These two have a special little bond and I think it's kind of sweet because Azzy's kind of Ciara's dog and Jesse's mine and they love each other so much. Yes, you do. Oh, don't get your butt all wet. Every time I look at him, I think of that reel that's like, oh, what a distinguished looking gentleman. And there goes Jesse to lick inside his mouth. She's so weird. What are you two doing? Jesse, don't lick Aslan. He puts up with so much from her. Very sweet. All right, I am cooking up some wontons to have uh, a little bit before my fried rice because it's 4.30, but I am hungry. My tummy has been off since being sick, so I'm just not eating at a normal schedule. But also, I feel like all I've done today is eat. That's not true. What about you, Aslan? Hmm? Huh? I freaking love wontons. All right, I'm gonna sit down with my little tray of wontons. I won't eat all these. I always make extra because Rosie and Jonah like them. So I, um, I make enough for me to eat and then I give the rest of them to JJ and Rosie. Got my liquid IV and I'm utilizing my Pioneer Woman measuring cups as a bowl for my sauce, which I was oddly excited about. Wow. <laughs> Good morning. Um, forgot to end the vlog last night. I am feeling even better today than I did yesterday. I think I'm well on my way to recovery despite the runny nose and all of that. I think I'm finally like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and I'm really hopeful. I'll be completely better by the weekend and back on track for this holiday season because I know the next two months are going to go by crazy fast. I don't want to be sick. I'm hoping I can avoid being sick at all anymore for the rest of the year, uh, which would be fantastic considering I've been sick for basically the entire month of October. So anyways, these sheets and bedding, y'all, fantabulous. I love them. Um, I slept very well last night. There's just nothing better than fresh sheets and bedding, especially fresh washed sheets and bedding. Don't forget, if you guys want to try Brooklinen, you can use my code down in the description box. There'll be a link and you can use the code Angela B and that will get you $20 off your order of $100 or more. You will not be disappointed, I can tell you that. All right, that's it for me today, y'all. I'm gonna get up and get dressed. I have much to do today and I'll see y'all again for another vlog very soon. Bye.